welcome to my YouTube channel where we are forming a community through inspiration, positive motivation, and a safe space to be creative. Yes, yes, yes. This is going to be so easy, guys. So easy. You guys are going to be like, what? If, and this is for beginners, okay, you guys? Don't come in here with all that. All oh, that's. This is for people who, they're, people are still learning. There are still new beginners, okay? Let's not be so arrogant, <laughs> Okay. All right. <clears throat> anyway, today I'm going to demonstrate how to time stretch, how I time stretch um, on MPC again, on MPC live. Again, I am uh, working through the software. I'm using my, um, my live as a MIDI controller. So I'm not in 3.5. I am still in the, as you guys say, the ancient days. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, that's how I work. And once they update to 3.5, then we can talk about it. You feel me? Anyway, let's get busy. Let's get to it. Already pulled a sample. It's a piano sample. We're gonna go into our BPM and on the on the software you just press from BPM. Uh, you can see it here on the screen. Um, like I said before, I do work hybrid, so I'm usually working through the screen uh, most of the time, unless I gotta, you know, get a little intricate. Anyway, <laughs> you see it's uh, 49, 19. I want it to get to, let's say we want it on 78. Let, let's, let's change this to 78 really quick. It's at 49. I want to get it to 78 without changing the tune. That's going to be the, the fairy dust on this tutorial. I'm going to show you how to keep the same tune, but speed it up. Okay. So again, it's at 49.19. I want to get it to 78. Let's, let's see what it sounds like. So my way of doing it is going into from BPM and I'm going to match it. I'm going to press match. Okay. Now let's listen to how it changed the sound of this piano loop. Tune is tuned up. So you see here, you hear the tune. We want to get it back to the its original tone. Let's go back and listen to the original tone. I'm going to undo that. You hear that? That's the tone. And then I can check to see what key it's in as well. If you see that, let me see. You see my screen. This is, uh, by the way, this is Mixed in Key. It's an app that I downloaded years ago. I love it. So we got it. It's in G minor. Now let's go ahead and do, let's go to BPM and match it and listen to it now. Now let's listen to it's out of key. I want to keep it in G, but now it's E. Yep, now it's in E flat minor. We're going to get it back to G. Let's stop this. Get out of here. And you see, we're going to go to tune. If you could see the tune here, <clears throat> it changed it from zero to 7.98. It tuned it up 7.98. We're getting it back to the original tune that it was in before. So I'm going to go into pitch shift and you see the tune is 7.98. We're going to minus 7.1. 
okay, minus 7.18. I mean, 7.98, my bad, 7.98. We're going to minus 7.98, okay? Do it. Now let's listen. Now it's just faster. Same tune. Let's see. Yes, sir. Let's make sure. Shit. <clears throat> G minor. There we go, baby. See? See how easy that was? See? That's the easiest tutorial you probably ever. <laughs> That's probably the this is probably the easiest tutorial you've probably ever seen in your life. That's just it's so easy. It's so easy. Um, of course, if you see it. Sometimes it might tune it down if you know to minus to minus. What you're gonna do is go in pitch shift. If it's minus here in tune, you're gonna plus your pitch. You feel me? Plus your pitch. So now got a loop in here. I got a drum loop now. We're gonna listen to the drum loop. We're gonna do the same thing with the drum loop. Right now, the drum loop BPM right here, we're gonna find the BPM is 85. You see here. We want to get it to 78 and we don't want to change the pitch. You can, the drum loop is, you know, it's different, uh, but we're going to change it just for, just for, you know, demonstration here. We're going to go ahead and uh, match it. We're going to go into BPM. We're going to match 85. We're going to match it to our BPM here, 78. And then listen to it. And it, if you see here, it pitched down when we matched it because it was faster, right? It was 85 and then we, um, we slowed it down to 78. So now we're going to go into pitch shift and we are going to plus 1.49 to get it back to its original tune. Do it. That's the original tune. So we go. That is it. That is all. Thanks for joining me. If you like this video, press the like button, comment, and subscribe. And thank you very much for joining me today. Peace.